As PL2s, the uh, residents work as part of the trauma team in our emergency department. So you will be assessing and managing um, all types of trauma that come to the emergency department, including the, the most acutely ill patients, the level one traumas, motor vehicle collisions, um, near drownings, and things like that. And we provide a course that's really based in general pediatrics, how a general pediatrician in training can learn the basics of assessing and managing these pediatric trauma patients. So it's really another uh, chance for them to practice some of those management skills um, of resuscitating acutely ill patients, but it has a trauma bend um, to allow them to be part of the trauma management team in our emergency department. I think procedural sedation is becoming an important part of training in pediatrics in general be, because we do so many sort of same day or brief procedures um, and I think we're much more aware over the last 10 or 15 years about pain in pediatric patients. And so we have the PL3s go through a procedural sedation simulation course. They will be providing uh, procedural uh, sedation in the emergency department for things like orthopedic fracture reductions and in incision and drainage of abscesses, um, but it's also um, geared towards management skills um, in sedation, the kinds of medications that are available for procedural sedation, and I think it's really geared towards um, a push in a lot of um, areas of pediatric training and, and subspecialties where you're going to be uh, asked to be involved in procedural sedation um, to get some um, advanced skills and knowledge in that.